Hey guys, welcome to my first ever video on YouTube, and this is going to be a fish supply organization video, so I really hope you enjoy. Um, I'm not going to be making a video about my fish tank today because there is a lot of glares because it, it is really sunny today, so I thought I would just make a fish organization video, so I hope you enjoy. So let's start over here. I have this rag that I use when I test my aquarium water with, and it's just a red ha hand towel. Then I have this Magflow, and I have another half, which is in my bathroom, and it's actually drying right now. Then I have two Freshwater Master Test Kits, and they're both by API, and they look like this. I'll just show you. Here they are. Um, I have one that's not opened yet, and I will make a video sooner or later on how to test aquarium water, but this is what it looks like, and I have two of them right now, just in case this one runs out. Then next to those, I have a marina holding and breeding box container thing just like this. It's actually the box that came with it, and I, I will make a video on all, all that stuff later, but this is just what the box looks like. It is in the size large. Then below these two things, I have these, and I know I spelled fish supplies wrong right there, but I just kept both of them. And then this little thing says, Guppies Rock. Okay, then after that, I have these three things, which I'll pull out. I have this little Tupperware container with um, fry food that I made in it. I have my air pump, um, Tetra Whisper air pump box right here. And then I have a box to my three-way breeder. And here it is. And those all go in the back. Then I have a huge bottle of Aquian water conditioner. And I have this because my current water conditioner, which is right here, it is almost out. So I got a new one. And I always get Aquion because Aquion's a good brand. And I just keep it like right there by my master test kit and this box. Next I have my food products, um, my food items I guess. So first I have some top fin freeze dried blood worms. I have this little tub of Aquion Tropical Flakes. And this is um, a little sample thing that came with my tank. Then I have some Hikari Algae Wafers. Some Tetra Tank Nibblers, Hikari First Bites, and a little measuring spoon to measure out the foods with. Then down here, I just have a little toothbrush I used to use to scrape off the algae with. And then over here are most of my other chemicals. First, I have this Aquian water conditioner, and it is a smaller size, as you can see. So, that's really small. <laughs> and that came with my tank along with the food. I also have this Top Fin Bacteria Supplement, and I used this when I first started out my tank. Then I have some Aquion Aquarium Plant Food, and this was for my plants. I have like five plants in my tank, so yes, I have to use some of this. And then I have some Jungle Clear Fizz Tabs that I actually don't recommend to use because I'll make a whole other video about these later on. And then um, I have my API Aquarium Salt. Then the last things I have are over here. I have a little bucket clip for my gra um, gravel siphon, which I'll show you in a minute. I have this Tetra Weekend Tropical Slow Release Feeder Gel um, tablet things. I have the box of my aquarium net breeder that I used to use, but I don't use it anymore because I have the marina um, holding and breeding box. And then I have replacement filter cartridges for my Aquion Quiet Flow 30, and I have four of them left. Okay, so that's what I have on the top, and then um, on the bottom, I just have my gravel siphon, and I just keep it right here. And it is for a 20 gallon tank, so yeah. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video on my supply organization, and please stay tuned for more videos. Thanks.